Hi everyone, my name is Sabina Bruce and I'm a systems engineer focused on the MCU portfolio here at NXP. Welcome to this tutorial of the LPC 5500 MCU series based on the ARM Cortex M33 core. This video will be focused on the Wi-Fi enablement for the LPC 5500 MCU series. For this video, we're going to focus on the Wi-Fi capabilities and how we can easily enable cloud connectivity to our platform through Amazon Web Services. All of this using the MCU Expresso software and tools. NXP has partnered with Silex to provide Wi-Fi connectivity options. The Silex modules drivers are integrated into our SDK for fast development of your design. You can find different example demos using the Wi-Fi module. From the very basic and intuitive examples to show you how to scan for networks or connect to an access point to cloud-based example demos that allow you to monitor and control your board using Amazon Web Services. For this video, we will run the remote control demo from the AWS examples available in the LPC 55 SDK. This demo connects your LPC 55 to AWS via Wi-Fi and registers itself as a thing that can be remote remotely controlled. A wireless shield or clipboard is required. As mentioned before, the SDK already enables the Silex shield and clipboard platforms. We also provide a mobile application for Android that you can use as a reference for your own implementation. The mobile application will control and display information of your LPC 55 board by communicating to AWS using your things parameters. Okay, let's get started. First, you need to create an AWS account and generate the thing that will be linked to your platform. You can find all these steps to do this in the README file from the AWS Remote Control demo or on the step-by-step -step instructions guide from the community. Once you generate your thing information from the AWS IoT Core service, you just need to import the AWS Remote Control Wi-Fi demo and select the UART for debug console. You should see the project listed under the Project Explorer tab. Expand your project files and locate the AWS client credential header file under the Amazon Free RTOS include. Configure the SSID and password of your Wi-Fi network. Then configure your AWS broker endpoint and thing's name. The broker endpoint can be found in your thing settings under the interact section. Now in the same folder, locate the AWS client credential key header file. and replace it with the one generated by the certificate configuration tool. That's it. Build and download your application to your LPC Expresso 55 S69. Now, take out the Android application from the SDK path and copy it to your Android mobile device. Open the AWS Remote Control Preferences.properties file and fill it with your things parameters. Then, copy it to your Android mobile as well. Open the application file and load the property files we made here. You should now be able to control your board through the mobile application from the cloud using Amazon Web Services. This is just one of the many things you can create with your LPC 55 S69 connected to a web-based platform using wireless connectivity. There are many simple examples of the LPC 55 S69 SDK to demonstrate wireless connectivity, so you can take your design to the next level in an easy fashion. 
For more information, please visit the LPC 55S69 EVK website and our NXB community.